So you've downloaded Isanzo and loaded into your first round of the Italian Alps, but you're not sure of how everything works or you want some help getting used to the new experience. No problem, for in today's video I will be covering the basics of playing Isanzo, so really without any more delay, let's just get right into this. You've loaded up the game for the first time and now stepped into the shoes of an Italian or Austrian soldier on the Isanzo front. So what should you expect? Well to begin, this game is very close to being a military simulator of the First World War. While there are many aspects of the game that make it more game-like, in terms of general gameplay it's going to be reminiscent of what an average soldier on the Italian front had to deal with. This means as a new player you should try your best to stay in trenches as much as you can. If not trenches, then other varying forms of cover as each moment you spend outside of cover is a moment that can be used by the enemies to snipe you. And trust me, in this game, they will do exactly that. So stay low and stay concealed. This matter is exemplified even more by this game's very quick time to kill. To oversimplify, it basically means every gun in this game will one shot to the chest. This ranges from the pistols to the rifles to even the MGs at times. This means if the enemy can land a shot on you, it will likely be the only shot they need to land. However, this does go both ways, meaning you only really need to hit one shot to send your enemy back to the redeploy screen. Now that the general basics are understood, we can shift over to spawning. Spawning is a relatively simple process. Simply select either one of the player's spawn bases, a friendly objective, or a teammate and wait a few seconds and you'll be able to spawn right in. However, if the place you intend on spawning is under fire or a bit dangerous, it may have a red ring appear around it. If this happens, you will not be able to spawn exactly on the point and instead will spawn a little bit away from it, pretty much making sure you don't spawn and die immediately. But while you're spawning, don't forget to choose the class you want to play. There are six classes in Isanzo and each one offers a differing playstyle with differing guns and abilities. There's the basic rifleman, the standard role that acts as your normal soldier on the front, the officer which has tactical equipment allowing it to issue orders to the rest of the squad and call in support, the engineer, which is able to construct various buildings such as defenses and useful static machinery like mortars and HMGs, the assault, which has the heaviest weaponry allowing it to punch into enemy lines, the mountaineer, which is focused on scouting and infiltrating behind enemy lines, and finally the marksman who specializes in long range combat and sniping. I suggest playing around with each of these until you find one that is your favorite, but make sure you have the basic understanding of them all as there is limits to how many players can play each of these, and thus you may find yourself in a situation where you have to play a different role than you're used to. Once you've spawned in as the class of your choice, it's now time to start trying to win. In Isanzo, you will either play as the defensive team or the offensive team. Their names are self-explanatory, but what exactly are they defending or capturing? Well, there are two different types of objectives that both teams will be going for. The first is the normal capture objective. Simply have your team outnumber the enemy on the objective and you will begin to take it like any other capture game mode in gaming. The other mode is a bit more complicated, as it will see the offensive team arm a bomb on the objective that if the defensive team doesn't defuse in time will blow the objective up and thus prevent the defensive team from retaking it. But what's the point in all this? Well, aside from having fun, the game does offer an in-game progression system that is used to unlock new guns. To follow it, you have to play the game and collect XP for certain classes. Then when you've leveled up a specific class enough, you will unlock challenges. Complete these challenges and you will unlock specific guns for those classes. Finally, if you don't feel comfortable enough at this point, it is always possible to boot up a custom match with bots only, and try your best at learning the ropes of the game this way. This can be done through the main menu. That is all I've got for you guys today though. I hope this helps out, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. But until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao!